and welcome back to my channel with a new video. Um, this is Nora and that's my cat Sushi. The other cat is in the other room. So first of all, I know it's been a while. Um, I know I suck with the, the video scheduling. I know that. But yeah, been working on some personal stuff. What I noticed, I shouldn't take any more freelance work. Um, because I have a full-time job now and it's been crazy and I think YouTube making YouTube videos is more important to me than finishing freelance stuff um, so I think I should stop t taking freelance work for now yesterday or two days ago something happened in Lebanon and I think I should talk about it I'm gonna start with that incident and then talk about the problem more broadly I think this happens way too much in Lebanon and not a lot of people talk about it because I've seen it personally happen so many times sadly it happens I know it's true because I've seen it happen myself so first of all I'm gonna start with the incident that happened yesterday or two days ago I forgot but basically uh, not in Beirut that this happened north of Lebanon um, a truck was loaded with rocks um, with a lot of heavy heavy rocks um, the driver couldn't hit on the brakes so he lost control of the truck I think he, cra he crashed in a pickup truck he crashed on in like other cars he crashed in a house even so it made a big big mess uh, of course it's not the fault of fault of the driver he lost control of the truck um but something wrong happened and a lot of people died because of it so the loaded truck crashed into several cars before settling in a water tank of a nearby house and burned uh, the driver and his son were also injured and sadly that pickup truck had a lot of people in it so there were four children in that pickup truck uh, they all died with the father the mother and a son-in-law they were all killed i think in that moment they all died and then the driver um, was very severely burned but basically they took him to a hospital to treat the burnt to treat his burns because that hospital's really specialized in that kind of patients um, and apparently the hospital refused to treat him someone is saying that but the hospital is not saying that so what the what one person is saying is that they brought the patient to the hospital um, they refused him because they said the hospital didn't have any more beds so bad luck you we don't want you here kind of um, so I'm gonna read the passage exactly as it is so um, someone blamed the hospital administration uh, for refusing to receive the injured person who had suffer suffered severe burns as a result of the accident uh, the hospital had reportedly refused him on the pretext of the lack of a medical bed which led to his death to his death after waiting at the hospital door so basically they refused to treat him and he died on the door that's what what one person is saying that saw the the accident and saw what happened and he um he talked about it um but the hospital is saying something else the hospital is saying that the patient was received in the hospital and um, upon his arri arrival um, and then his injuries were very serious as he was exposed to an accident in the morning resulting in second and third degree burns exceeding 75% of the body area so 75% is a lot so basically <laughs> most of his body was burned this is very sad I think that's one of the worst things that someone can suffer from um, especially if it's that much on your body um, so there's also a broken hip and separate wounds to the head, head and face um, and they said his um, condition was very serious and then he, they couldn't do anything to him because 
it was very bad and he died. That's what the hospital said, that they actually took him in, but one person is saying they refused to take him in um, with the excuse there was no more medical beds available for that person. So, um, whatever happened, I mean, I think because of past experiences, I think I kind of believe that person because um, a lot of similar things do happen in Lebanon. A lot of people are refused to, to, um, for treatment. Um, and I, I kind of believe that person that actually, yes, they refuse to treat him. Um, there's a problem. Of course, I feel like the hospital refused to treat him because, uh, um, the, the bills are, are not going to be paid by the person or the family. The bir bills are going to be paid by the government and the government is not paying anyone. So they were like, we don't need that. We're not going to be paid for that. So we're not going to take him in. That's what I feel that happened, but maybe they took him in. I'm not sure. But since a lot of incidents like that do happen, I tend to believe that person. Um, I'm going to give you another example of what hospitals do there, uh, which is kind of sad. So that happened over a month ago. Uh, there was an uh, infant that died because the hospital wouldn't take that child in for treatment. Um, so Lebanese citizens urge government to respond to uh, that kid, Yasmin and Master tragic death after she was refused medical care at four hospitals. So basically four hospital hospitals did ref did refuse to treat that infant. Um, and it, it's not just that infant. Maybe they talked about it because what it was a kid, but a lot of incidents like that do happen in Lebanon. So that infant was a one year old kid. Who passed away on Sunday, uh, like that was what, like a month ago, after being refused entry into four hospitals in North Lebanon. Um, reports that one of the hospitals demanded a payment of a thousand to treat thousand dollars to treat the sick infant following initial tests, uh, which the family could not pay. The thing is, in Lebanon, you have to pay before you get in, and a lot of people don't have that much money because of the. Of the economic situation uh, it's really bad not a lot of people are getting paid even if they have a job that's even if they have a job so the problem is hospitals do ask for money before you get in and if you can't you're refused for treatment of course the government is going to be criticized and the hospitals as well so that's also another uh, incident that resulted in the death of a person because um, the refusing the refusal of treatment and I can tell you a hundred percent that is true I've seen that before happen personally I had a friend who his father had apparently um, he I think he had a stroke at that point he was going through a stroke um, the family did not know what the father had um, the father has has diabetes apparently he ate a lot of sugar that day sadly um and apparently he was having a stroke because of the amount of sugar in his blood from what i understood i'm not a doctor but that's what i was told um so at this point they didn't know what what hap what was happening to him uh, they took him to one hospital, they refused treatment, they told him, we don't have a place for you. Um, he went to another hospital, say, said the same thing, uh, went to a third hospital. Uh, he was very like desperate for treatment. His dad was literally going away in front of his eyes, which is kind of sad, like you can't even treat. like those situations are very avoidable if a hospital takes you in quickly and that's the problem in Lebanon a lot of hospitals expect that to happen if something happens to you expect that hospitals will refuse you for treatment you have to be prepared for that sadly like that person what did he do at the end he called someone who is a higher up person which is very sad if you want to be treated you have to know people from the government to get treated 
and that's absolutely bad. Um, that's how he got his father in a hospital after he made calls and called a lot of uh, people in the government. Somehow he got his father in after a full day of his father really feeling bad and apparently he was having a stroke at this point from what the hospital that took him in said. Um, I know that I'm not sure who to pl put the blame on. It's kind of sad that hospitals are refusing people for treatment since I, since I thought hospitals are that, um, you know, had that mentality of like helping people and that's where what they are about, right? But um, apparently in Lebanon they're not. I get that you have to care for money, you need money to pay for medication and treatment and all that but we have to work together that we know in Lebanon we have a very bad situation it's not just the hospitals, it's the people that are dying because of lack of money so I think we need to work together it was like that before but now it's gotten so 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 much worse um, like my aunt specifically, she also um, she passed away by, by the way and I think one of the reasons because she was refused treatment in many hospitals before she got accepted in one um, apparently she was refused in like two three hospitals before she got into the fourth one or the third one it's it's becoming too late to treat that person since they 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 keep searching for a hospital that might accept them and it, it might take a day or two for you to find a hospital that might take you in um, and maybe at that point you're you can be gone you can be dead maybe it's too late maybe it you have way more complications because you weighed it more and I want to compare it to US I know US it's ridiculous the amount of money you have to pay no question about that I'm not gonna argue that the medical <laughs> field in here and the hospitals and it's amazing it's not amazing you have to pay so 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 much to um, you know to get treated but the thing is in here um, you don't have to pay first you pay afterwards after you get treated um, they make sure you are fine and safe then they ask for the money um, and in here they can't refuse to treat a patient their motto here is treat your patient first then we ask for the money then we talk about the money and that's what I think is working in America even though there's a lot of bad things that are not working in here and of course health um, the health insurance has a big question mark on it um, the hospitals have a very big question mark on it and I know I know that but I think what's working here and at least they take the patient in uh, first they treat them they don't let them die on the hospital doors um, so um, there's also like if the hospital is very full um, they what they do is they they call the ambulance first and and they tell them like hey we're super full like please find a hospital that is near you as fast as possible because we literally can't they won't say that unless they're like you know people are on the hallway laying down they won't do that till that happens so they take that really really seriously to treat patients I don't want to blame the doctors um, a lot of doctors maybe are not getting paid and it it's kind of sucks like to, to learn that many years and to de dedicate so many years of your life to learn um, to, to be a doctor to go through all that and to even pay to get that education at the end of the day like they you're not getting paid by the hospital is pretty annoying I'm not gonna say oh my god it's the doctor's fault but I think that they have that responsibility like not to leave a person dying um, I think this is the moral of your job to like at least not let people die at least do the minimum that you can do with whatever you have um, but of course the main problem is not you know the the doctors it's also the hospitals a lot of the times the administration are not they're the one that are not accepting 
the patients, it's not the doctors. Yes, you have to be prepared to be refused uh, entrance, and it sucks. It happened to my family, it happened to people I know. Biggest part of the problem is the government, they're not paying the hospitals. I still do bl blame the hospitals for at least, you know, you have to try to treat people. And a lot of the times, hospitals do ask money in dollars. People don't have dollars on them. People are not getting paid on, in dollars, they're getting paid by the leader. And of course, if you watch my channel, you know that the leader value is just extremely bad right now. So. not sure who to blame i mean at the end of the day the blame is on the government um and sadly the government is hurting people on so many levels it's not just all oh, the jobs or or oh the the food or like it's it's on every single level of your daily daily life and you can't find medicine, you can't find a hospital to get treated, you can't find food, you can't find a job, you can't find power, you can't find decent internet, you can't find water to bathe, <laughs> to take your shower. It, it, it's literally that bad. And I think the worst of them all is the life and death situation, is the hospital situation. Um, a lot of the times also hospitals do not get medication properly because of the lack of medication. At some point, hospital, a lot of hospitals said that if we don't get enough medication, we can't even treat people. Like, we're going to be forced to close. And this is the worst thing that can happen uh, in a country that hospitals are being forced to close so yeah that's the hospital situation in lebanon i want to talk about it quickly and show how bad it is there that's what i wanted to talk about and i'm sorry for being that gone for that amount of time um it, it is so hard for me to make a schedule for youtube so yeah that's it for today um I also would like to hear more like what people want me to talk about it's also part of why I haven't been posting that much because you know like the subjects do like I don't know what to talk about anymore and I'm waiting for something you know to to happen till I know what I'm gonna talk about um so please do tell me if you want to hear about something specific at least it will help me like to know what I want to, what I'm going to talk about, what the subject is going to be. Um, so please do help me with that. <laughs> so thank you for watching my video. Um, and she's doing okay. <laughs> she's just um, sleepy as usual. So thank you so much for watching my video and I'll I'll see you in the next video, hopefully soon. <laughs> um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to know more about the Lebanon, about what's happening in Lebanon. And if you want to hear more of me, please subscribe. And if you like this video, and if you do agree with me, and if, you, if you're a Lebanese person, if you agree with me, hit that thumbs up and maybe comment about it. If you had any other incident that was similar to this, and you want to talk about it and just let it out you're welcome to put it in the comment down below so um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.